Are we allowed to have this much fun when the cameras are here? Welcome back. It's our Bison Breakdown segment with Valley News Live Sports Director Beth Hool. We're sitting here cracking jokes the entire time. Obviously, very rough game on Saturday. We'll talk about no, Weaver I State. I wouldn't call it a very rough game. What are you talking about? I think there were shining moments. King Cro or King Frazier. King Crockett. Look at that. King Frazier <laughs> played, in, played an outstanding football game. I mean, I think the fans got to meet him. I think they were introduced to the future of Bison football that just because John Crockett's gone doesn't mean we don't have a running game anymore. Chase Morlock played like six positions. Gosh, the kid was all over the place. I mean, I Are think... Are you being a homer right now or what? You played the game to win. Being a homer? No, of course. Yes, they did not win the football game, and that is terrible, and that is really sad. And I thought that when I was going to fly back into Fargo, North Dakota, and the earth would be scorched. I mean, honestly, though, they... It was, wasn't a total nightmare. They played some good football. They played a good team, gosh darn it. Well, and one of the things a lot of people didn't talk about, at home, Montana, they're, since Washington Wrigley Stadium has been in existence, mm -hmm. their winning percentage is like 87.5%. I mean, these guys do not lose at home. So I, I'm with you. I think it was good. I just, there were some things there that, hey, this is a game that we should have won. I think when, when you know you should have won a game yeah. and you don't, that's tough to stomach. It is tough to stomach, absolutely. And it's tough for this team to stomach. I had the opportunity to talk to players this week. I talked to Brian Schatz, a, a walk-on football player who's been earning every single snap he's ever gotten. He's a senior leader on this defense now. He's not happy. He's certainly not happy, but they're moving forward. He related it to, you know, you lose a snap at practice to the offensive line. Well, you get back out there and you, and you take the next one. They're preparing to play another football game because you have to move forward. If they continue to, to whine about this one, if they continue to cry about it, well, they're not going to move forward. And Bison football, they move forward. Well, and I think one exciting thing, at least for the rest of the season, is obviously this doesn't preclude them from the national title. You look at the Missouri Valley Conference. Yeah, this kind no, of loss that's could be... important to know. The first game of the season does not kick you out of the playoffs. Right. I mean, this on. could be a very good motivator for the rest of the season. Have it got, all right, guys, we got to, you know, pick it up a little bit. Yeah, here. and they all say, well, you know, we don't need <laughs> motivators like that. We, you know, all, all of that. But you you played football. I, I played sports. There's that competitive edge. You don't play D1 sports unless you're competitive. If you're going to learn from this, you're going to move forward. This is a fire in their belly moving forward for the rest of this season. They'll remember what that plane ride felt like. Exactly. I want to move on to Weber State in a second, but I know today the ESPN released some TV numbers that were kind of interesting. Yeah, that, that's right. It was the fourth largest watched sporting event on cable TV on Saturday. That's pretty amazing when you think FCS football. How many times have you talked about, you know, watching Bison football in DSU and you've heard those big dogs say who? Well, everybody knows who they are now. A lot of people tuned in and watched. I thought what was most interesting, Birmingham, Alabama, the, the number one market watching this football game. Now, I don't think that there's necessarily a lot of NDSU Montana fans in Alabama, but I think there's a lot of football fans, no. and I think they introduced themselves to a heck of a football market. You know that's for sure. the fan, you know what's in Alabama. No. Jesse what? Palmer Barbecue? fans. Oh. <laughs> They're watching Jesse Palmer. Oh All right, let's move on to Duke Weaver State. Pretty boys. Everyone thinks <laughs> that, oh, man, they're just going to walk you know, into the dome and just roll Weaver State, but I watched the uh, coaches show just recently, and you watch that, that coach's turn, you go, wait a second, we got seven points off a defensive turno turnover. Thank goodness little John stopped the guy on a fake field goal, or the game would have been much closer. My point is, is you've got a second-year coach coming back, transfer from BYU, his second year in this offensive system. they got a couple of good wideouts that were young. It could be more of a game than people, I think, are leading on. I think certainly. I think, if anything, moving forward after this Montana game, people have kind of gone, okay. I think if you take a step back from the hurt of having lost this first game, I think fans are realizing there might be a lot more closer games than, than Bison fans have been grown accustomed to in these last couple of years. I absolutely think there could be a football game here. I absolutely think that, uh, that the Bison have to prepare, but I think they're going to. I think you're going to see an angry group of Bison football players. I think they're going to play hard. They're going to play fast. I think they're going to come out with it. And I think Bison Nation in that Fargo Dome, is going to be to be ready to to help lead their team to another to another win. I think they're ready to get back on that other side of the, the column on the scoreboard. In your opinion, you're obviously around the team a lot. Does Wentz play against Weber State or no? That's a really tough one. A high ankle sprain. That that's an injury that takes a while to heal. So that's a tough one. Um, do you risk playing him against Weber State when you have the rest of the season? They're pretty high on Easton Stick. They they have a lot of confidence in him. I think it could be interesting to see the offense step up alongside a new quarterback. Uh, 
I don't know. It's too early to tell. I'll tell you next week, though, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and they might play Issa just, I mean, literally ground and pound against Weaver because I think they should have done more ground and pounding uh, against Montana. Beth, great job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Want to remind you, tune into the <laughs> Farmers <laughs> Union Insurance Bison Football Pregame Show. She's the superstar of that and also the broadcast. That's at 1.30 p.m. and then 2.30 p.m. kickoff. Want to remind you, they're going to be putting up the banner beginning right. of this game. Yes. Fourth straight. Plenty to celebrate. Unprecedented historical national title. Coming up in tonight's